I found 11 high paying certifications that can help you get a remote job in 2024. And all of these certifications are affordable. Some of them are actually gonna be borderline free. You'll see what I'm talking about later in the video. And some of them you can complete in as little as a few weeks. And I've got a wide range of different career types. So whether you're a creative person or you're really good with technology, or maybe you're like a business type of person, some of these certifications are going to appeal to you. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, go ahead, gently tap that like button, and let's jump into it right now with number one on the list, which is going to be the Meta Social Media Marketing Certificate. All right, so this one is offered by Coursera, and I did do an entire video reviewing this one. And basically, this is a partnership with Facebook or Meta and Coursera. And this can help you land your first job in the business or marketing industry. And digital marketing is an incredibly valuable skill to learn. And according to BLS, advertising promotions and marketing managers make about $138,000 a year. But typically, you're probably going to start off with more of a lower level social media marketing manager job. And according to Glassdoor, they make about 50 to $82,000 a year. You might also become a social media specialist and they make about 46 to $69,000 a year. Coursera also offers a free seven day trial. And then after that, at least at this time of recording this video, it's about $49 a month. So this is basically a six course series. It does have a 4.9 star rating and that's with over 15,000 reviews. So 15,000 people have taken this course and given it a 4.9 star rating. That is pretty good. Now they say that it will take about five months if you work on it for five hours per week. But honestly, with all of these Coursera certificates, you can usually complete them much, much faster, probably something more like a few weeks to two months. Now, if you can compare that to a college degree, which typically takes 5.1 years on average, or a boot camp, which is usually going to take anywhere from three months to an entire year, that is lightning fast. So yeah, this is a very solid one to take. It's also great when you take these certificates because you don't have to spend a bunch of money to figure out if you actually like the career and you like the subject. So a lot of the time, if someone is not sure what career they wanna go into or they're not sure which subjects they like, I always just tell them to go to Coursera and take some of these different certificates and certifications and to see which one they vibe with. Next is going to be the Google UX Design Certificate. And I promise not all of these are going to be Google certificates, although Google certificates are awesome. And basically, this is going to help you get your first job in UX design. And UX is basically user experience. So when you go to a website that has really good, you know, user interface, user experience, it's usually extremely intuitive. So you kind of just know where everything is without even having to think. So this one is typically really good for creative types. A lot of creative type people like to go into this career. Now, according to Glassdoor, UX designers make about 74 to $122,000 a year. So this is often a six figure level job, which is crazy because you don't even need to have a college degree or previous experience in order to get into it. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is going to be one of the harder ones to get into on the list because obviously lots and lots of artists want to get paid to do art. So you're going to have to have a killer portfolio and you're probably going to have to take this certification as well as several others. But that doesn't mean this certification isn't good. It just means that the job market is a little more competitive. So overall, really good one has great reviews online. Just know that you're going to have to have a killer portfolio. Quick pause to give you a special deal from our sponsor. Coursera is offering $200 off their Coursera Plus annual subscription. This is a global offer, so anyone in the world that wants to subscribe to Coursera Plus can have it. Now, this is an incredible offer that gives you access to thousands of different courses and certificates, including the Google certificates. So make sure to click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Now, back to the video. Next is gonna be the Salesforce Sales Operations Certificate. And Salesforce is basically a CRM that a ton of different sales teams all throughout the entire market in the United States, as well as a lot of other countries use. So it's a pretty good idea to be familiar with this CRM and this software in general. And by the way, I'm going to be putting the link for all of these down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. You can check all of them out. If I forget to put one of them down there, just, you know, comment below and let me know. But yeah, sales operations specialists make about 52 to $79,000 a year. It's also another one that's relatively easy to get into. You don't need a college degree or previous experience. And by the way, with a lot of these different Coursera certificates, actual employees at the companies are designing a lot of the curriculum. So this is the stuff that they are literally looking for in real time, right? They're designing the curriculum because they don't have enough people out there that have these skills that they're looking for. And this particular certificate has four different courses in it. So you start off with the sales and CRM overview, then you move into lead management in Salesforce, then you move into opportunity management in Salesforce, 
Salesforce, and then you move into reports, dashboards, and customer success in Salesforce. So yeah, another really good one, Salesforce is super valuable to learn. And my favorite industry to work in when it comes to sales is tech sales. And I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have gotten into tech sales themselves, and they all use the company Course Careers. And I have a free training for Course Careers, which I'll put down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. That will teach you everything you need to know about tech sales and how to get into it. Next is going to be the Google Project Management Certificate. And this is actually probably one of my top three favorite certificates. This one is really, really good. And that's why 1.3 million people have taken this certificate and it has a 4.9 star rating. Now there's six different courses that you would take inside of this certificate program. Foundations of Project Management, Project Initiation, Starting a Successful Project, Project Planning, Putting It All Together, Project Execution, Running the Project, Agile Project Management, and the Capstone course, which is Applying Project Management in the Real World. Now they say that it's gonna take six months and it's 100% self-paced, but again, this is one that you can easily finish in a month or two. Now they say that the median entry-level salary is $73,000 a year. They say 75% of Google Certificate grads report career improvement. There's 479,000 total job openings in project management. And when you finish the certificate, you get to connect with over 150 US employers. So they basically give you access to an exclusive job board. Now project management in general, you make about 77 to $129,000 a year. And a lower level position like project coordinator, you would still make 49 to $75,000 a year. And yeah, this one has great ratings online. Even the most negative cynical people in the world basically have nothing bad to say about this course. Of course, there are other certificates and certification programs that you can take that will add to your knowledge and make it even easier for you to get a project management job. But yeah, this one is definitely not a bad choice for like 99% of people out there. Next is going to be the Google IT support certificate. And this might actually be my number one favorite certificate. This was basically the first certificate that Google came out with when they partnered with Coursera and almost 1.4 million people have taken it. And even though it's a few years old now, it still has a 4.8 star rating. And this one will basically help you get into a bunch of different IT related entry level jobs. There's been people that have commented on my channel and there's been people who have commented on Reddit and stuff that say that they're able to get this certificate done in a few weeks. And here are a few jobs that you might go into. So for instance, help desk technicians make 47 to $69,000 a year. System analysts make 91 to $135,000 a year. And of course, later down the line, you might get into a job like IT director director and they make 160 dollars to $257,000 a year. So really well paying at the entry level roles, really well paying at the medium level roles, and also really well paying when you get a few years in as well. And there has been countless posts from people who have gotten hired with just this certificate alone. Now, is it a good idea to kind of bolster your knowledge with other certificates or other online courses or just learning from free YouTube videos or Khan Academy? Absolutely. It's still a good idea to do that. But the fact that these certificates even give you a puncher's chance of getting a job when they only cost $49 a month is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, these certificates are absolutely the best bang for the buck out there. So yeah, gotta love these. All right, next one on the list is going to be the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Certificate. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, this is one of my least favorite out of all of them, but it's still relatively good. And basically my big bone to pick with this one is there's so many different types of digital marketing and there's just no way you can go deep enough on any one of those different types if you're just teaching people digital digital marketing in general. But with that being said, over 400,000 people enrolled and it still has about a 4.8 or 4.7 star rating. So people are definitely happy with the value they're getting considering they're only spending $49 a month. Now this one probably isn't gonna get you a job just on its own, like I said, but at the very least, it might help you pick the type of digital marketing that you wanna do and you'll get to learn kind of the surface level basics of that type of digital marketing. And here are some salaries for different types of digital marketing roles. So marketing coordinators make about 48 to $72,000 a year. Email marketing specialists make $52,000 to $81,000 a year. And a higher level role like digital marketing manager makes $71,000 to $120,000 a year. So yeah, one of my least favorites, but it's still really good. Next one on the list might be tied for number one, or it might honestly just even edge out the Google IT support certificate for being number one. And that is the Google data analytics certificate. I absolutely love this one. And so do a lot of other people. And that's why 1.8 million people have taken this course. And it still has a four 
4.8 star rating. Now, data analytics is a job that you can get without a college degree and without previous experience, but you definitely still have to have the skills. This is a high skilled job. And that's where this certificate comes in. It can teach you a lot of the skills you need to know in order to get the job. Now, chances are you're also going to have to buffer that with some extra skills, you know, learning things online, taking other certificates, taking online courses, or just watching free videos on YouTube or Khan Academy. And you're going to have to build yourself a portfolio, but the course actually helps you build the portfolio. And if you type in data analysis on LinkedIn, you're going to see there's 578,000 results at the entry level for jobs. There is a ridiculous amount of demand for these skills. And data analysts make 66 to $103,000 a year. Business analysts, which is very close, makes around 75 to $115,000 a year. And a higher level position like principal data analysts make 159 to $247,000 a year. Now, I remember I went around and I asked like every data analyst or data scientist that I knew, I even reached out to other YouTubers, what they would do if they were starting over to get into a data analyst position. And almost every single one of them say that they would take this Google data analyst certificate first. So yeah, this one is freaking awesome. Probably my favorite certificate. It's kind of up there with the IT help desk one, but the IT help desk one is a little older. So I feel like this one has probably taken its place as number one. Next certificate is going to be web design for everybody, basics of web development and coding. So this is another really good one. It's actually offered by the University of Michigan, but it's still on Coursera and about 296,000 people have already enrolled. So I'll be honest with you. I haven't looked into this one as deeply as I have the other ones. I haven't even made a dedicated video for this one. Whereas for most of the other ones I mentioned, I actually made a dedicated video for them. But basically you're going to learn to design and create websites and web developers make about 70 to $115,000 a year. Now web development used to be really easy to get into is actually kind of like the easiest type of coding to get into. But then a bunch of people started learning how to do it online, a bunch of boot camps opened up. And now it's somewhat saturated. And I say saturated, but really, it's not that saturated. It's like saturated for tech, which basically means you're not going to have recruiters constantly reaching out to get you to come to their company. And the thing is, is you actually have to have the skills. Now it used to be that if you just had a pulse, and you kind of knew a tiny little bit about coding, you could get hired. Now you actually have to have the skills. See the upside to these types of careers is you can get into them without a college degree and without previous experience. The downside to that is you have to first have the skills and then second, prove that you have the skills. And typically the way you're going to do that is by building a really good portfolio. But the truth is that is easier said than done. Now it looks like this one has about a 4.7, 4.8 star rating, which is still really good. That means the vast majority of people are very happy with it. And that makes sense considering again, it's only $49 a month, but I will tell you web development is a bit harder to get into than a lot of the other ones on this list. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of anybody else out there that could also enjoy it, whether it's a friend, a family member, or someone who just needs to get a job, go ahead and share this video with them. Coursera has changed millions of people's lives. And by sharing this video with them, you might change their life as well. All right, next is going to be the IBM data science certificate. All right, so this is another one that's very solid, has about a 4.6 star rating and 245,000 people have taken it. And the crazy thing is you can actually earn up to 15 college credits by taking this certificate. Now, don't get me wrong, this course is awesome. But if you're trying to land a role as a data scientist, you're probably not going to have a very easy time doing it with just certificates alone. I mean, it's possible to do it, but you'd have to be like a borderline genius. A much smarter way to do it is to become a data analyst first, then get a bunch of experience, take some more certificates, and then you can pivot to becoming a data scientist. Now, this one is pretty extensive. It has a total of 10 courses in it. I'll put them up on the screen and you can check them out. Pause the video if you need to. And it says that it takes about five months to complete, but most of the reports on Reddit, as well as my comments section, show about two months or so. But there was one report of this crazy guy who did it for 12 hours a day and he was able to finish it in 17 days. And by the way, if for whatever reason you can't afford the $49 a month to take these certificates, Coursera does have kind of like a scholarship fund type of thing. So you can apply to that scholarship fund and in many cases they will accept you. And they say on the website that data science related jobs make about $112,000 a year. Now one thing that Coursera does that I wish they would kind of clarify is they say that 26% of certificate grads start a new career. And I wish they would say, you know, what time frame that was also what type of career was it like, was it anything related to data, for instance, but yeah, this one is still really good. Another IBM certificate is going to be the IBM DevOps and software engineering certificate. Now they say this is beginner level, but in my experience, DevOps is more than beginner. Like you're probably not going to go from zero tech experience to a DevOps role, but DevOps 
is one of the most valuable and most sought after types of software engineering. And DevOps engineers make 103 to $148,000 a year. And they have some really impressive professors or teachers in this certificate that work at IBM. Now this one is a 14 course series. I'll have them pop up on the screen here. You can pause to check them out if you'd like to. And these, like almost all of the other certificates that Coursera offers, will do resume reviews, interview prep, and also career support for you. So yeah, another really good one. Definitely one to check out if you're interested in going into DevOps. Next on the list is going to be the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Certificate. So this is another pretty good one. Has a 4.6 star rating with 173,000 people that have enrolled. You can also earn up to 10 credits if you're going to college. Lots and lots of opportunity in cybersecurity. It is another one of those where you absolutely do have to have the skills, right? Like imagine a company putting you in charge of cybersecurity when they're not sure that you have the skills to do that. And then someone breaks in, steals all their customers' data. How are they going to explain that in court? Just think about it, right? You absolutely have to have the skills. But with that being said, there is a massive amount of demand for people who have these skills. Now, I will be honest, typically what you see is people go into IT first and then they go into cybersecurity. It's pretty rare where you see people going from zero tech experience to cybersecurity right off the bat. But you do see people getting a college degree in something cybersecurity related and then going into cybersecurity right off the bat. But yeah, cybersecurity analysts, this position is growing at 31% over the next 10 years, according to BLS. Absolutely crazy. Now, this one has eight courses in it. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause and check them out if you'd like to. And a lot of people say that online, if you study it really hard, you can finish it in about a month. If you study it kind of gradually, it'll take maybe two months or so. Now, as a junior cybersecurity analyst, you'd probably make around $84,000 a year. And higher level jobs like security architect, you'd make 176 to 278,000. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, by the way, if you like this video, you'd probably also like my Google professional certificate tier list. And you can check that out by clicking right here.